Peter, you're Director of External Relations at Mir Google, and you're here at the, the Mortimer Sphinx Technology event um, speaking to over 100 technology leaders. Um, could you just briefly summarise what you'll be covering this evening? Well, I'm going to be talking about why openness matters and why free expression online is so important. I mean, we're seeing incredible uh, advances in terms of what's possible now <laughs> on the web, a huge use of user-generated user content, we're seeing 48 hours of uh, video yeah. uploaded onto right. YouTube every minute. But at the same time, we're also seeing governments uh, increasingly keen to exercise censorship on the web. So really what I'm saying is that we're at a bit of a crossroads at the moment and we need to be st to stand up and be counted on this question of free expression online. And where, where do you see it heading over the next five years? Well, we, we've seen amazing things over the last year or two. If you look at Egypt, for example, or Tunisia, where people have used the, the, tool, the online tools to, to have a voice, and that's fantastic. Yeah. But at the same time, we've seen a real growth in governments wanting to clamp down uh, on, uh, in terms of censorship. So uh, since about 2002, we had four governments who, who were involved in, in internet censorship. Today, that stands at about 40. So there is a real threat, and it's not just from authoritarian governments. We see uh, Western governments too, who are keen for sometimes for, for very good reasons uh, to want to filter the web, for example, uh, on child safety grounds. We, we think there's a, there's a real fight on at the moment between open and, and closed, and uh, it's really necessary for people who believe in free expression to stand up and keep the web open. Thank you very much.